Well, how's it going, guys? Uh, I got to reposition this car around. I got the mag off this right, left front, uh, but instead of putting the mags back on, I'm gonna put my super tricks on. Okay, and plus I'm gonna be getting rid of all these tires. I gotta clean the garage out. Those are the tires from my American. But I, I figured before I did that, I wanted to show you guys some tire size differences. These are all front tires. To the right. Oh, it's gonna be hard to hold these. Let me turn them. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Not a pro, you know. To the right is a 145. 8015. The middle's a 165 8015. And the one to the left, that's half bald, is a 6.015. Okay? The ones to the right are what's on the car. Oops. And if you guys could see the height differences. The one that's in the middle is on what's all my Americans, been on America for 12 years. The one that's on the left is actually the size tire I want to run on the on this wagon when I'm done. Okay. Now I figure I'll show you these real quick because someone told me that I didn't know what I was talking about on measuring tires. That I had no clue that I was wrong. So they told me that this six by fifteen inch tire should be six inches on the tread. And I told them that they were incorrect. That is six inches on the section width again. I know we discussed this before. Well, there's the tread width, guys. What do you see? I see four inches. If I go down to the section width, lo and behold, it's six inches. But he told me I was wrong. So, just wanted to show you guys this. I always love these wheels. They're just not correct now. Once I switch the car to an altered. They weren't correct. These tires are the original tires that were on these mags forever. <laughs> that I know. So I threw them on here just to, in case I needed spares because these rims will fit both bolt pens. So I'm gonna. This is the size tire I want to go with. So I figured, what better what, uh, what better way? to see the difference but right there and there is a difference so tread wise is about the same other than the fact that these left ones are bias plays and you'll be skidding all over the road um, these ones to the right I'll probably sell since they have so few miles on them still got the labels from sticking to the door there but no I will not sell them as new but uh, I just bought those beginning of last season or beginning of this season I just passed so but I'm gonna toss these on my car so I can continue working on this car oh, that's just dirt and I just figured I'd show you guys the difference in heights and whatever and there you guys can't see it but the car's leaning now this was the goal to get these bad boys to fit I think the goal has been met. We have three fingers in the front. Pretty much four fingers in the back. And about six fingers on the top. So that's the size tire I want to get in the front of this. I'm really not too pleased with these little skinnies. I know I'll never get it to stay there, so. Oh, that ain't gonna work. There you go. It'll be tipped a little bit, but. You get the idea. The tire's about two fingers taller. So that's a finger on each side. So. I'm probably going to go with this size. They make the 
in like a pro track uh, I gotta get the measurements off of that and make sure it's tall enough because then they make one that's like a seven point something and I just not only don't I like it it just looks goofy so that one really bellies out that's for um, that's for getting down into the 70s so I think that's what we're gonna go with I like the way that fits in the well now it's starting to look the way the car should look I moved it over so I can't videotape it any better so okay guys I want to get this car up on the dollies get some stuff situated in the garage so like I said I want to get the other fender going and I want to get bond it. I want to get bond it. staring at this is not getting it done so do a thing a day that's my rule a thing a day.